Naughty Dog has announced that the release of its much-awaited game, The Last of Us Part Two, has been officially delayed to May 29, 2020. The unfortunate news was announced through a blog post on the PlayStation blog by director Neil Druckmann, and he also explained that they didn't have enough time to bring the entire game up to the level of polish, and they would call Naughty Dog quality. He added that they were faced with two options, delay the game or compromise a parts of it. Code Vein has received a new update just in time for Halloween. The update brings a new character creation options, which includes Halloween-themed accessories, face paints, and color palettes. It also adds a hair symmetry function for players to dress up their characters for Halloween. The update also adds a bunch of bug fixes as well as quality of life improvements to the game's character creation screen, model system, exploration aspects, and settings. In its recent earnings call, Ubisoft has admitted that Ghost Recon Breakpoint did not do well. Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot said that changes that they bought or they brought to Breakpoint have been strongly rejected by a significant portion of the community, resulting to negative critical reception. With this, the company vows to implement significant changes to production processes to fix the game. Borderlands 3 Bloody Harvest event is live, and we get to know more details on the challenges that await players. And the event has a total of 15 challenges. Players will also have until December 5th to complete them. Challenges include the killing 500 ghosts in Mayhem mode and looting a Bloody Harvest legendary, solving the pumpkin puzzle, and collecting 50 pieces of Bloody Harvest loot. Visit the game's official website for more information about this event. GTA Online players will be able to get their hands on a new vehicle this week. Starting October 24th, players can also get the Pegasi Zorasso Legendary Motorsport Supercar. It can also be purchased for 2 million in game cash at from Legendary Motorsport. The addition of the supercar is part of the continuation of the Diamond Casino and Resort update. And also available in GTA Online this week are double cash and RP and the content missions. Casino Story Missions, Deadline, and the Doomsday Haste of Finale.
Dota Underlords The Big Update has gone live, and it also brings Underlords and Nexus and Hobjin to the game. With this update in place, players will also choose an Underlords at the beginning of each match. The Underlords will leave their team using abilities and buffs, and will also grow stronger as they play. The big update also brings the duo mode, which also pits eight of teams of two players against each other in tag team matches. Also guys, introduce our freestyle mode, new alliance option, changes to the interface, new voice lines, bug fixes, and tweaks. Ring of Illusion Season 6 is here, and it also comes a revamped loadout system, updates to the map, battle boats, and more. The new season also brings a new adventure pass season called Tactical Evolution, and there will also be 30 new characters, new landmarks on the game's map, new tactical abilities, and upgradable boats. Season also welcomes a new island called Emma, which also found in new robots. Full details of Season 6 can also be found at the game's official website. Where the very fate of Pandora hangs in the balance. Borderlands 2 VR has released on PC, but it's off to a rough start. Owners of the game on PC have reported that the game is having issues for those who don't own an Oculus Rift S on a similar headset. And YouTubers Cass and Cherry mentioned that on most headsets, the game world is out of scale and weapons are not correctly positioned relative to the controllers. Gearbox is also yet to issue a statement of players' of feedback. Ubisoft has announced that they are delaying the release of Watch Dogs Legion, Gods and Monsters, and Rainbow Six Quarantine. All three games are originally expected to arrive within the company's current financial year, which ends on March 2020. And in its recent earning call, Ubisoft said that three games mentioned will now be launching sometime between April 2020 to March 2021. And guys, this delay will also be due to poor sales performance from recent games, specifically Ghost Recon Breakpoint and The Division 2. NBA 2K20 is hosting a free weekend this weekend in celebration of the tip-off of the NBA season. The free play days are only available for all Xbox Live Gold and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members on the Xbox One. The free weekend runs until Sunday, October 27, and NBA 2K20 is also available on PC and PlayStation 4, and it is also slated to launch on Google Stadia. shot Beverly looking to capitalize from the perimeter as often as possible and so the first quarter is in the books the Clippers on top leading by nine and the second quarter will be on the way when we come back
Declant has confirmed the Undying Lives that cross over with Left 4 Dead 2, and the event is a 4 day crossover which started October 24th. During the crossover, players will also experience an increased number of virals, waves of attacking hordes, and intensifying fight to for survival, along with the increased amount of guns and ammo. Players who complete the challenges will also receive three event exclusive gold blueprints that will also allow them to craft Left 4 Dead 2 weapons, the electric guitar, frying pan, and golf club in Dying Light. It is the end of yet another week. We still have guys a great deal heading your way. The free game for today will also have you playing the archaeologist Amelia Cross in the QUBU2. And we also have for you guys three amazing prize drops list, which includes the Forming Simulator 19, Anthem, and Death Mark. And if you are looking for the game with the best discount, it is the third installment of the dungeon series, a Dungeon 3. Don't miss out any of these deals or go to our daily deals page only here again at altishop.com. PR Dogs Interactive was able to roll out a new DLC for their 4 times strategy sandbox, Stellaris. The DLC is called the Lithoids Species Pack and it allows players to control a whole empire of planet devouring mineral based creatures. They are made out of rock, making them unaffected by the hostile environments. Players will also be able to make their own variants, having 15 types of Lithoid portraits to work with. The Lithoid Species Back DLC is available for $5.79 or £5.79 and €7.99. THE Nordic has revealed the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Collector's Editions. The first one, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Shiny Edition, has the game, stickers, six lithographs, tanny stocks, and an 8 inch SpongeBob statue with Gary. The other one is the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Fun Edition, which will come with all the Shiny Edition plus a set of K key rings and the statues of Sunny and Patrick. Citadel Forged with Fire is free to play for the weekend as announced by Blue Isle Studios. Get to download the game on Steam and go on a magical journey through the enchanted world of Ignis trying to master the art of magic. The game offers a massive online sandbox RPG that will teach aspiring wizards the art of magic from the spell casting to broomstick flying. The full game of Citadel Forged with Fire is set to launch on November 1 promising an extensive base building system.
The fast-paced multiplayer dungeon crawler Ready, Set, Heroes will be launching for the PCS announced by Sony Interactive Entertainment. The game was previously a PlayStation 4 exclusive for a month. Its PC launch will be made available on the Epic Games Store on October 29th. Choose your character and race through dungeons, kill monsters, evade traps, gather loot, and power up. The game promises quick sessions that are high energy and are easy to learn. Tactical RPG SD Gundam G Generation Cross Race will be launching for the PC come November 28, as announced or as announced by Bandai Namco. The game offers players the chance to form their own team of SD Gundams and then deploy them for battles. The units will be featured or or the units to be featured are the mobile suit Gundam Wing, Seed OO and Iron Blooded Orphans. The game promises intense battle scenes that are rendered with high def 3D models. Two games are available for free on the Epic Game Store up until October 31st, and they are Layers of Fear and Cube 2. Layers of Fear is a first-person horror game that will let players take the role of an insane painter trying to discover the reason for his madness. Cube 2, on the other hand, is also a first-person game, but it's more of a puzzle game that will let you play as Amelia Cross, an archaeologist. Get to solve puzzles in the game's mysterious world in order to get back home. The anime action RPG Dusk Diver has launched in Europe for PC, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch, as announced by developer GFI Games Incorporated. Just a Dan International Co. Limited and publisher P-Cube, game is based on the iconic Siminjing district of Taipei in Taiwan. It offers a mix of exploration and combat. Dusk Diver will also be available in North America for PC, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch on October 29. Immortal Realms Vampire Wars has been announced by Calypso Media and Palindrome Interactive to launch by spring of 2020. This turn-based strategy game hybrid is also now available for pre-orders, giving those who pre-order access to the game's closed beta. Pre-orders will also come with the Fangs and Bones DLC, a digital soundtrack, and a physical discount or special discounted price for the game. The Close to Beta will come with the two Dracul campaign missions, two sandbox maps, and four skirmish maps.
The Beast Inside has launched for the PC. The game offers a movie-style approach for horror games. Set in a complex world called Blackstone, get to play as two characters that live in different times, centuries apart but in the same location. Get to experience a unique history where you will be collecting clues and solving mysteries. The decisions you make will determine the ending that you will get. Enjoy playing in the realism of the game's setting with 3D scanned objects. My Hero Wants Justice 2 is getting two new characters and they are fan favorites, Minoru Mineta and Mina Ashido. Minoru Mineta is able to produce a sticky ball-shaped object from the top of his head and is able to stick opponents down. And for the other hand, Mina Ashido, she has the ability to form a corrosive acid using her body and it can be used as both offense and defense. My Hero Wants Justice 2 will be launching for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC in 2020. The second crowdfunding campaign for R-Type Final 2 has been running since October 1st, as announced by Grandzilla. The second campaign has pushed the funds to over 1 million U.S. dollars. It had been further announced that there are more than 9,100 backers who have supported the campaign. Because of the stretch goal, the developers are able to increase the quality and quantity of the game components. R-Type Final 2 is set to launch for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch by 2020. It is the end of yet another week, and we still have great deals heading your way. The free game for today will have you playing the archaeologist Amelia Cross in Cube 2. We also have for you the three amazing games in our prize drop list, which include Farming Simulator 19, Anthem, and Death Mark. And if you're looking for the game with the best discount, it is the third installment of the Dungeon series, Dungeons 3. Don't miss out any of these deals. Go to the Daily Deals page on allkeyshop.com.